tell us a little bit about your sort of reaction to this morning's news? Well, I was shocked, really. I mean, uh, there we were just preparing to go into our usual weekly group meeting as, as a Plycomy group, which I am the chair of. Uh, and obviously, um, we knew there's a uh, you know, press conference happening. And then in the middle of this press conference, it is announced that uh, Mohammed Ashka is leaving Plycomy and is joining the Conservatives. Well, we had no prior warning. There had been no prior discussions about any unhappiness on uh, Oscar's uh, part at all. So we were greeted, uh, well, it was completely stunning, in fact. You know, we were absolutely stunned and shocked at such a manoeuvre. So, and, and there hadn't been any sort of uh, unhappiness? He hadn't said anything about his, you know, his... Because, of course, this morning he said that he wanted a united Britain that was uh, behind, you know, not opposed to independence. None of that had sort of caused tension in the past or anything of that nature? Well, no, I mean, no, he's fully uh, signed up to the Plaid Cymru vision, which, as you would be aware, uh, involves a full uh, parliament for Wales and, ultimately, independence for Wales. Uh, he was quite happy... Um, with that for several years now he's been happy with that vision of the way forward so uh, and he has signed up to that you know it's it's we have a very meticulous detailed process in terms of how you get to be a senior candidate uh, applying for senior positions w within Plaid Cymru and it's a meticulous process that uh, that goes on for months you know um, so I can only surmise that obviously his view must have changed um, well, very re recently, because we've had no, absolutely no discussions within the party. Um, you know, he hasn't mentioned it to Yang Win Jones, our leader, at all, and he hasn't had any discussions with any other assembly members either about his uh, apparent, uh, you know, conversion now to this ideal of a United Kingdom, which obviously runs counter to the vision of Plaid Cymru. Do you think that it was, because we're not really clear as to whether he was approached by the Tories or whether he approached his Tories, that, did that not bother you at all? Who did, who did the courting or was it? Uh, I'm not particularly bothered, i got to say. I, I, I remain dismayed at the whole um, process, frankly, because uh, there seems to be a lack of honour here and a lack of courtesy on, on the part of Mohammed Ashka. I think the very least that uh, as a party and as a group of Plaid Cymru Assembly members, and we pride ourselves, we've always been very close, it's, it's like a family here, of uh, 15, now 14 Plaid Cymru Assembly members. Uh, we know one another very well, and it has just hit us to the core that really Oscar can do this without informing anybody of his misgivings at all whatsoever. That's what stunned us all. Reading some of the uh, sort of Plaid Cymru blogs this afternoon after the news sort of broke, they seem to think that they weren't particularly kind to, to Mr Ashka and said perhaps it was, a, it was a blessing in disguise. Do you agree with that? Well, I mean, the fact is he's a Plaid Cymru Assembly member, or he was a Plaid Cymru Assembly member um, uh, for South East Wales. The, obviously, now that um, there's an additional Conservative Assembly member for South East Wales, now means that the electors of South East Wales have less of a Plaid Cymru representation than they actually voted for in 2007, and more of a Conservative Party representation than they also voted for in 2007. So there's a real issue here of the legitimacy or the mandate that he has got now to continue as an assembly member because frankly in 2007 he got elected purely because he was a Plaid Cymru assembly member. Had he stood as a Conservative assembly member then he would not have got elected. So that's why as, as Plaid Group Chair I'm calling for him to resign in view of the fact that he has a lack of mandate and the fact was that he got elected as a Plaid Cymru assembly member. He is now no longer a Plaid Cymru assembly member so he should stand down. Last couple of questions then. His daughter was quite prominent this morning in uh, in the press briefing and, and in the Conservatives' uh, sort of approach to the announcement itself. What role do you think she's perhaps played, as a, as a former Plaid Cymru candidate herself, of course, in, in the decision? Well, I've no idea what role she has played, but yes, it's quite true that she, formerly she has been a Plaid Cymru uh, candidate in, in prominent roles on, on a couple of occasions, because obviously the association of the Ashkar family with Plaid Cymru goes back many, many years, uh, and particularly Yayan Wynne Jones has worked very closely with um, Mohammed Ashka over many years and obviously counted him as a close personal friend. And this whole incident has absolutely been very shattering, but particularly for us all, but particularly for Yayan Wynne Jones, who counted Mohammed Ashka as a personal friend. And then, question to close, and how, how does your relationship with Mohammed Ashka, where does it go now? Well, I mean, all this is more in, more in sorrow than in anger, frankly. I mean, I cannot understand why he has done it. And really, I am disappointed that he couldn't bring himself to talk to uh, any of his fellow Assembly members. Obviously, he employs staff as well uh, as a Plaid Cymru Assembly member. Um, they um, obviously work for Plaid Cymru, or they 
thought they were working for a Plaid Cymru Assembly member and he didn't even speak to his staff before this announcement in a, in a, um, you know, a press conference this morning. Um, the whole episode, I feel, is shabby, uh, it is dishonourable and really he has let an awful lot of people down.